Today, I presented the results of the Impact BP trial, a clinical trial focused on community-based hypertension care in rural KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Let me set the stage for the study. Hypertension is the leading risk factor um, for cardiovascular disease, responsible for 10 out of the 20 million deaths a year that occur um, from cardiovascular disease. The problem is 1.3 billion people have hypertension, and only 20% of the people have control of their hypertension. It's much worse in many low- and middle-income countries. Challenges are long wait lines, up to three hours to see a provider. So what we did was we introduced a community-based uh, trial that allowed blood pressure to be dropped by 10 millimeters of blood pressure reduction and increased control rates by 30%. How did we do this? We gave individuals uh, blood pressure cuffs to use in their own homes. And what surprised us is that on a daily basis for up to 12 months, they took their blood pressure. Then we equipped community health workers to collect that data or Bluetooth enabled blood pressure cuffs to deliver the data directly to the nurses. Nurses then, with, that, with a technology-driven decision support system, made treatment decisions for their uh, patients without the patients ever having come to the clinic. So this was a community-led, nurse-supported, and technology-enabled uh, intervention. What was so exciting is that it worked without the patients ever having to come to the clinic. In fact, we brought the clinic to them. Um, what do we need to do next? We need to enable policymakers to see that we can move the clinic to the patient rather than the patient coming to the clinic because it's much easier for them to receive the care that they need um, and successful. Patients are happy with this intervention. Uh, it worked well for them. I'm surprised and proud having worked in South Africa for the last 25 years as both a provider and researcher to see the team come together from the community to deliver care in people's homes successfully what does this mean for the patients? 10 millimeter blood pressure reduction is about a 30% reduction in cardiovascular disease, including strokes and MI, and about a 50% reduction in incident heart failure. That's a big win for the patients.